Hi everybody, Mike with Tiny Phoenix here to talk about our README asset for Unity. This is currently available on the Asset Store and it supports back to version 5.6.4. What it basically is is a rich text editor um, that's generic and can be attached to any game object as a component. It works for game objects whether they're in a scene or a prefab in a folder. Um, and it's great for documentation, it's great for adding notes. It's not so much for adding comments, that's more for something like Unity Live Notes. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here's our package structure. Go into TP, README, and inside the demo folder we have an example here, which you can open up and see a couple of Readmes. So to start off with, here's one, um, which everything you see here has been edited, created and added with our text editor. So you can see it supports different size text, it supports bolding, italics, colors, and uh, pretty much anything that Unity's built-in rich text support uh, supports. Um, on top of that, we build in our own inline object references, which are really cool. So if we click on this first one, you can see it tells me right over there. It's just like a regular object reference. It works towards anything inside of this scene and can point to anything inside of a folder. So we can see references to all of these things. If we click edit here, we can edit all of this. So grab this one, tell it to point to a new, new file there and then we can get that reference anytime we want. Now these are also drag and droppable. So I can just take uh, the cylinder reference, drop it right here, and now I have an inline reference to that cylinder. You can drag one from over here, and it sets that all up for you. Now, uh, if we want to see what's actually happening in the background here, we can go to the source editor. And if we look through here, we can see, oh, here's some tags for bolding. Here's a tag for size. Here's our object tags, just using an ID that links us back to that object. We go back. Um, we also got shortcuts. So we can highlight a section of text, click this bold. We can highlight this section, make it italic. You can also change the font on everything, make the font a little bit bigger, and we can change the base color of all the text if we'd like. Um, we can also just add in an object by clicking this object button, then select the reference ourselves. Now, uh, what else is cool about this, all being just regular rich text in the background, including these object references, is it makes everything completely copy-pastable. So I can come to this rich text. I can come in here and copy this, paste it back here. I can also just copy-paste anything straight from the editor. So this also goes across game objects, obviously. I can come in here and create my own. Add a new README, paste all that in, and I still have all those same object references. I can obviously edit these and they won't affect they won't affect um, the originals, of course. Now let's go ahead and look at another example here. Here on our main camera we just have this message, don't change these camera settings. You can see on this one uh, there's no edit button and that's because it's in read-only mode. Uh, this is really useful for a script that you don't want other people to change, but also it's really useful for us uh, for redistribution. If you're an asset creator and you want to redistribute uh, these readme files with your asset, we have a uh, package that's forced into read-only mode that you can distribute all you want. Um, if you're interested in that package and you're an asset creator, uh, you, can, you can contact us and we'll hook you up with that. Um, but we can come to any script and make it read-only. If we'd like, go to our advanced settings where we have things for all kinds of neat stuff. If you don't want to use the icon for the tack, um, or if you want to just do some verbose output uh, to see more so what's going on in the background. Okay, we can enable read-only mode here. Click done. Now bam, this is in read-only mode. Whoever sees it won't think that they can edit it. Um, additionally, we have um, any time that a change is made. Let's go ahead over to this one and 
turn read-only mode off. We can disable it for all of them, just for quick editing. So anytime a change is made, uh, this is actually all backed up to a file, so there's not too much risk in, uh, in you losing uh, any data. So if we look here, we can actually manually save this one, and we can see where it saves to. And we can open this up. open this one that we just made. Oops, sorry, this one. Boop. And we can see our rich text is saved to our file there. Um, so there's a couple of really cool things that this can enable in the future. One is just better formatting. Uh, if we saved all of these straight to the files only and not in the objects, we can clean up the source control side of things a little bit. And then eventually we'd also like to generate a master catalog of all the readmes. Um, if you're interested in any other stuff we're working on, you can always come check out our GitHub page, uh, which is github.com slash tinyphoenix slash readme. Um, and we have all of our issues listed on here. Some of the cool stuff we're working on is adding search functionality, uh, inline um, hyperlinks and inline images, um, and all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, additionally, you can come to our website, come to our README page, and um, you can subscribe, get updates uh, anytime we make changes to this tool or our other dev tools, um, and uh, you can also jump to the Unity forum from here as well. If you guys have any other questions, you can always feel free to email me, mike at tinyphoenix.com, and that's it. Until next time, thanks. Have a good day.